Welcome to the solution of bisecting yin and yang. In this problem, we need to bisect both yin and yang using a straight line. Uh, but first, let me give an idea of how we could solve this problem using a curved line. So notice how the curved line, which I just drew for you in green, separates the white part of the circle into two equal areas. Area 1 is equal to area 2. So I have bisected the white area of the circle. And I've also done the same thing with the black area of the circle. Notice how area 3 is equal to area 4. And furthermore, all four of these areas are exactly equal to each other. So they each represent exactly a quarter of the circle. So the question of this brain teaser is, is it possible to bisect the circle the same way using a straight line instead of a curved line? And after you've reached your answer, can you prove why this is or is not possible? So I want to give you one assumption that is okay to make in order to help you solve this, and that is that these areas that I shaded for you in dark red are semicircles. This is the white area below the horizontal axis and the black area above the horizontal axis. These areas are indeed semicircles. So at this point, I recommend to pause the video now if you don't want to see the solution yet, because I'm about to give you the answer to this brain teaser. So is it possible to bisect both yin and yang using a straight line? The answer to this question is yes, it is indeed possible. If we draw a line that goes directly through the center of the circle and also forms a 45 degree angle with the horizontal, this line is going to bisect both yin and yang. But don't take my word for it, let's prove this using some geometry. So first let's take a look at the area which I have just colored in blue. I'm going to separate this area into two parts. We have section number one, which is below the horizontal axis. This is a semicircle. And we have section number two, which is above the horizontal axis. This is what I like to call a slice of pizza, or a sector of a circle. So let's say, to make all of our calculations as simple as possible, that the radius of the whole circle has a value of one which means the radius of the semicircle of section 1 would have a value of 1 half. We can assume this using the properties of radius and diameter. So using this information, we can find the area of section 1 using the formula of a semicircle, which is 1 half pi r squared. And we know the radius of the semicircle is equal to 1 half, so we can plug in a one-half for r. And if we simplify this by multiplying one-half times one-half squared, we know the area of section one is equal to one-eighth times pi. Now let's take a look at the area of section number two. To find the area of this slice of pizza, or sector of a circle, we used a formula, which is the central angle divided by 360, all times pi r squared. Now we know the central angle of this slice of pizza is equal to 45 degrees. We know this because the green line forms a 45 degree angle with the horizontal. So we can substitute a 45 in for the central angle in our formula. And we also know that the radius for this slice of pizza is equal to the radius of the whole circle, which is equal to 1. So we can plug in a 1 for r in our formula. Now if we simplify this as much as possible, 45 over 360 times pi times 1 squared is also equal to 1 over 8 times pi. So we know that the area of section 1 and section 2 are both 1 over 8 times pi. And we also know that this entire blue area can be found by adding these two sections together. So we have 1 over 8 times pi plus 1 over 8 times pi, which gives us a total area for the blue of 1 over 4 times pi. So now that we know the area of the blue section, now let's take a look of the area of the section I just colored in red. 
you can probably see that this red area plus the blue area represent half of the circle. And we know that the formula for half of a circle is equal to 1 half pi r squared. And the radius for the circle we've already established. We know the radius is equal to 1. So we can plug in a 1 for r. And if we simplify the right side of this equation, we have 1 half times pi times 1 squared, which is just 1 half pi. So at this point, we know that the area in blue is equal to 1 over 4 times pi. So in order to make this equation true, we know that the area in red also has to be equal to 1 over 4 times pi. So now we know the blue and the red area are both equal to 1 over 4 times pi. And we can do the same calculations for the other side of the circle. If we do the same calculations, we'll conclude that the two areas on the other side of the circle are also equal to 1 over 4 times pi. So now as you can see, if we go back to our original colors, we have proven and successfully bisected both yin and yang. So I hope you enjoyed and were able to solve this brain teaser. If you want to see some more, I put the links to some of my other brain teasers in the boxes in the screen and also in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see all my new videos, and I will see you in my next one.